What's good, beautiful people? It's your girl, Ashley Janae. I wanted to give you a quick update, a tip that I am not learning the hard way, but I'm learning um, a little bit behind the eight ball. So there's a difference between a vendor's license and a mobile vendor's license. Now, specifically, this is important if you are going to operate a food service business. Myself, I only um, do drinks and I have pastries that I buy from the store. Nothing that I need a license for baking or anything for right so i am still considered a food service business if you have a consumable good that people put in or on their bodies you're going to need um different types of permits so here's what i'm learning when i went to get my vendor's license um i don't have a truck trailer cart bike anything like that so i applied after reading through all of the information i applied for um the regular vendor's license instead of the mobile vendor's license now the regular vendor's license is exponentially cheaper of course and now i'm learning why because every single time you have an event if you are a um food handler in any type of way every single time you do a pop-up event you have to get a um temporary food permit now i just went and got mine for these next two events that I have coming up pay $52 for two events because it's $26 a piece now you have to do this every single time mind you I have my serve safe I have my food handler permit I have um vendor's license all of that already but because I'm not a mobile food vendor every single time you have to have a temporary food permit now here's the thing I think I know that I now need a mobile vendor's license. I'm gonna just pay the money, upgrade my vendor's license, and this is why. So there's a couple of, of things that come with this. So one, with your mobile vendor's license or with a, a regular vendor's license, I only get 10 temporary food permits per year. Not per month, not per quarter, per year. So right now I've already done three events. Well, I've done one and I have two more. I have one next week and then with the same organization two weeks after that. That's three right there. I just got an email today that another um, organization I applied to bend with approved me. So I can select as many events that I, that I want up through November. So that's a bunch right there. Then another organization I just gave them six dates um, and they'll let me know which ones I can get approved for. I'm likely going to get approved for all four. Three in July and three in August. You see what I mean? So that 10 a year is out the window. Now here's the caveat. If you get a mobile vendor's license, you then have to have all commercial equipment. What does that mean? That means I no longer... I don't believe I no longer can store any TCS foods in ice in a cooler so for me the only thing that I ever have that needs to be in a cooler is ice for my drinks and then I have I buy um, almond milk and oat milk it's not dairy but because the packaging still says and of course it needs to be refrigerated after it's open I use ice coolers so once I pour your drink I put it back in the ice so that it stays cold um i no longer will be able to use that i don't need ice or cooling or heating for anything else but because i have that i would need um commercial cooling in some type of way i'm not even exactly sure what i'll get i have an idea um i worked in restaurants for 10 years so there's all types of things that i can use for cooling um, and I don't have any other TCS foods, but I just want you to know that going in because I didn't know that. And that's, I'm sure my fault. I probably didn't ask enough questions or read through all the paperwork maybe that I should have, but I, one, I didn't realize until last week that I only get two, I mean, 10 temporary food permits. And even when I just went to go get these today, she was like, okay, you have seven left for the year. We haven't even hit July yet. So I'm like, oh. So that's something that I want you to keep in mind. 
keep in mind and consider if you have a food type of business any type of way even if you're just going to events doing pop-ups and things like that I want you to to make sure that you have it planned out how many events am I realistically trying to do what do I want to do because once you get to one event other opportunities can open themselves up to you and now you're doing several more because you've been invited I've been invited to two events already in September which is three days total because one event is two days uh, another event in September a couple events in events in August I'm gonna be able to do and those aren't even the people that I reached out to in July and August with that organization I reached out to I'm looking at maybe six dates so just something to keep in mind I want you to be aware and I want you to know because I didn't know so if you have any other advice or things that you foresee are coming for me please leave it in the comments below I don't know if I've ran into that yet and if you have any questions I might have dealt with it already and I can answer your questions so um, that's something to th think about let me know um, if there's other things that you want to know because I'm not sure exactly what all kind of information that you guys need I want to give you away give away everything to you guys that I've learned so far on this journey because if it wasn't for my network of people that have been just throwing out good advice to me or me stumbling or figuring it out on my own I wouldn't have known so I want to give away the game also just to put it out there every time I look up um, best places to get coffee or top cities or top states for coffee best coffee in the country Ohio is never on the map so I'm serving you notice right now my state my city is going to be on the map for the best coffee in the country I promise you that is a promise I'm taking my whole state with me that's the goal because we always see places like I'm not even gonna call out those states names they're not important we're coming watch your back Ohio is coming because we have a lot of great businesses here so I'm taking a lot of people with me a lot of people are going with me um, but yeah that's it please like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend dirt rich brew is on the come up we're doing big things in Columbus already we're getting great reviews great feedback we're getting invited places Columbus Columbus Ohio we're coming we're coming thank you guys for watching um let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next video family peace did you know i picked out a video just for you really i did i put it right here click it click it right now so you can check it out just for you